So this is the Chelsea Call, a brand new series for the channel where we'll be tackling and debating some of the most interesting, contentious issues in the history of Chelsea Football Club. And today, let's get to the first episode, which is the trial of Hernan Crespo. Now we talk a lot about the apparent recent curse of the number 9 shirt at Chelsea. And with Tammy Abraham starting the season well, let's hope the 21 year old can go in the direction of Hasselbank, Kerry Dixon and of course the King, Peter Osgood. But in contrast to those names, Mattia Kesman, Andrei Shevchenko, Fernando Torres, Radamel Falcao, Avar Morata and Gonzalo Higuain, a litany of names that roll off the tongue when discussing struggling Chelsea forwards over the last 15 years. Most Chelsea fans will have little issue mentioning those maligned strikers in one breath, but adding Hernan Crespo to that list is one that baffles a lot of Chelsea fans. Arriving from Lazio in the summer of 2003, Crespo joined the Blues along with 13 others as Chelsea's revamp began to take shape under the new ownership and heavy investment of Roman Abramovich. Crespo's signature was a message to the football world of Chelsea's new ambitions. Let's start with the case against Crespo. Now, despite his undeniable flair and talent, the Argentinian only made 49 league appearances for the club due to a multitude of factors. The appointment of Jose Mourinho in 2004 changed many fortunes at Chelsea, but also specifically those of Crespo. After becoming surplus to requirements with the addition of Didier Drogba, Crespo was sent on loan to AC Milan for the season. It was reported in 2008 that Crespo's cost added up to just short of 1 million per game or 1.3 million per goal. So for such a high profile and expensive signing, Chelsea were never able to get the long-term benefits out of Hernan Crespo and eventually had to cut their losses. However, moving to the defence. In his first season, Crespo netted 12 times in 31 appearances. He caught the eye of his first start away at Wolves in a 5-1 win, scoring his first two goals for the club. The forward also scored against his former team Lazio in a landmark 4-0 victory for Chelsea in the group stage of the Champions League. Crespo his undeniable flair and guile gave the Chelsea faithful a taste of the level of quality their club was now capable of. After returning from his loan in Italy, the forward took little time to make an impression. In the opening game of the season away at Wigan, Crespo netted a last minute winner from distance, giving his manager the proof he needed of his usefulness. That goal sparked an extremely prosperous season for Crespo, earning 19 league appearances and claiming his first title in European football. Crespo was predominantly featured alongside a young Drogba who was still finding his feet amid criticism and providing double figures in goals helped Chelsea win many points. Now time for the verdict, which is that Crespo oozed class and was adored in West London. The chant of his name would be heard on a regular basis from the Matthew Harding stand during home games as the number nine gained approval. Crespo's sudden departure in 2006 upset many fans who saw one of their most talented players leave prematurely. Crespo made his long awaited return to Stamford Bridge in a Legends match in May of 2018, where he played for an Inter Milan 11. Unsurprisingly, Crespo's chant was reinstated and the forward drew much support from an adoring crowd. The reason behind labelling him as a failure can only really be connected to his lack of time at the club and even then that seems baseless when you consider his actual output. If 20 goals in 49 league appearances is considered a flop then Diego Costa's time at the club will have to be re-evaluated. Always leave them wanting more and that's exactly what Hernan Crespo did at Chelsea. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the first episode of the Chelsea Court, a brand new series that I'm going to be continuing with the channel. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, also comment your verdict on the trial of Hernan Crespo, also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at on a Chelsea and I'll see you again.